I'm sitting here on the couch, you know, enjoying the evening, rebooting my phone because YouTube freezes. I don't know why. I'm looking at this drawing, for instance, that is up here to apply. I'm sorry for the light. It was too lazy to turn it off. To apply smoking uh, technology, right? So, as I'm looking at this Pandora's Box Paradox from two months ago, uh, it's not as sophisticated as as the paradox I'm doing now. And those dice are not as sophisticated. The guy on his knees, this is the beginning. This is like one of the first guys with a dick who found love, okay? And Gaia Tree with Apple of Temptation, the whole thing. But it's sort of very primitive, you understand? Now, these this symbols are much more complex, as you see from the video I made today, yesterday, you understand? So, evolution of the symbol is the process of growing complexity. And at the same time, you as a visual artist, you need to remove elements to follow the philosophy, the less is the better. You understand? Less is more. So if the element is not necessary, it needs to be removed. If it doesn't transcend any ideas, if it doesn't play any visual role like this yellow, does it play any role? I don't know. I know for a fact that I would like to apply smoke over here, the upper part. The, so you understand the logic? But it took me two months. That's a symbol of God, subatomic particle. That needs to be fixed with an eraser as rays crossing the whole pattern after the smoking. You understand? So yes, there is planning involved, but the planning comes from a need to make it better. You understand? So it's making a tool better. How can you make something better? So you take casting of bronze, right? How can you improve the technology, the substance of bronze? So it's not cracking, for instance. This is shit, so it cracked. Too much tin, for instance. That's why it's... So what I'm trying to say, technological challenges you might be having with chemistry, with composition, this is where you come with solutions. This is how you create your own original style. You don't go to Van Gogh and say, hello, Mr. Van Gogh, how did you show far away objects by comparison? No, I mean, you do go and you see how he did it, but you don't want to do it like he did it. You don't want to do it like Bogoslavsky does it. Okay, you want to do it your own way. I'm just showing you how I do it. But the process of discovery is your private. It's a private journey that you are taking as a as an individual, as an artist. Why the hell I'm making those crazy, you know, drawings, surrealistic drawings, I'm making money my whole life by those colorful, colorful, happy paintings. And suddenly I'm into these stellar navigation maps. What a crazy fucking idea. But they start selling because they're so enigmatic, so mysterious. And I manipulate, you know, chemically, and I design new designs. Every one of them, of, of, of them is different, you understand? Well, this, this, this doesn't look like very alien, but I thought the face in the sun, maybe aliens also have a star, and maybe their faces have two eyes, you know, for binocular, maybe they have one mouth to eat, one butthole to shit, maybe they need a nose to breathe. Well, that's my thinking. So alien might look like this, like a face of an alien might be just like a face like this, like a happy face. You understand? I love panties. I love when they hang around. It really steers up my balls.